Here's a Chinese flashlight, no batteries, uh, 1.7 volts, 20 milliamps. Uh, I think it's $3.49, I think it was, $3.98 at my local electronics store. So that's where what we began with. I about doubled the output on this one in 2000. And use stronger magnets, but not a steel core in the middle of circular old magnets. And this one I put in a steel core and doubled the voltage again, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, you know, how this one is shaped in the same way vertically. Then when I used still heavier magnets, I found that this motion was the only one that worked sideways. And the idea of putting them on cars, it, it built into the springs, uh, so that when the tire went up and down, it pushed this up and down. Every bump you hit had to give way to another concept of movement. Five point one. We got it over five there. It looks like I'm not going to make five point eight. Anyway, you can see that these vertical ones point in series, say you had two in each spring on each wheel. You had two springs and you put four in a row. And maybe more windings and more powerful magnets and you would have enough for a 36 or 48 volt constant feed all the time you were driving. So that was the basic concept, is to have something not that supplements other ambient energies, inputs, that come from the motion and the uh, alone of the car, not the wind pressure on the car, not the sun landing on the car, not outside elements that are variable, but the magnetic solution is the internal forces inside the vehicle itself. Here we have t two 15,000 gauze double magnets inside uh, a wide band of 2400 and a narrower band of 2500 number 32 wire turns, coil turns. And by sliding it back and forth and we have them connected together in series. The negative from this one to the positive of this one. And we have the north pole of this one and the north pole of this one at uh, diagonals and the south poles. So when it slides forward, we can expect getting the, amperage, the voltage and the amperage from both together. So I'm go going to do it by hand. I'll soon do it mechanically. And you can see it begin to register. 31. 31? 30.8, 31.7. Okay, okay. 31.9. So in accumulators, this will uh, be the highest voltage because it takes the static electricity right up to the, the peak. You can see the pivot makes a lot of difference. And if we have Super Bowls here and it carooms against the Super Bowl and then on this side, both at the same time, so both it ends, then any slight motion in your vehicle, whether you take off or whether you're at an angle, you can see how easy it turns on that pivot. We'll like drive these back and forth, like a pinball machine. These are the super balls, which catch the thing and the magnets inside is sliding back and forth. This is the rectifier, full bridge rectifier of three amps. And these are three uh, uh, capacitors to store the energy in direct terms of direct current. So, you know, it's producing AC current, and these are connected in series. So that means that this one is sliding this way while this one is sliding that way. And these are the north, and these are the south. So that the wave, sine wave comes out, you know, like that, you know, like that like a fish swimming, like a minnow. 
swimming. But this is set up like oars and oar locks, you know, that you pull back and forth, or like a kid's teeter-totter at the, at the thing. And I'm amazed that it gets up to 50 volts. I mean, you know, like I started out at 1.6 volts, uh, trying to get 12 volts, and hoping someday I'd be able to get 12 volts two or three weeks ago. And now suddenly I'm getting 50 volts with a one simple mechanism like this. And of course, how many amps it's putting out is important, but you can always duplicate. It's only uh, four magnets and uh, two windings. So, you know, it's uh, very inexpensive uh, if it was mass produced, you see. When it's mass produced, this would be the less than 10 bucks or something, you know? So you could put in 10 of them for 100 bucks, you know? 16, 20, 22, 26, 30, 31, 32, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45, 46. So if there's a mechanism of some sort, and I don't know what to run it with, there's 50, 50 volts that it hit. Did you pick it up? Mm -hmm. Okay, 50 volts, it starts to be uh, enough to run a uh, 48 volt system which can take you on 16 inch wheels, not 20 inch wheels, up to 100 kilometers per hour. deeper understanding and harnessing to use a word from another time, you know, this kind of harnessing of uh, the energy of movement, of, uh, of your steering movement, of your acceleration, of your uh, going over bumps and so on, to uh, cut magnetic lines of force within coils. I mean, all of these things I've demonstrated today are modifications of Faraday's very first experiment back in 1785 or whenever it was. So it's a very simple thing, just a new view of energy. And particularly get rid of the tankers, get rid of the oil wells, get rid of the army, get rid of all of the combinations and moves and so on that support fuel.